How's it going bro? So the titles of this video is going to be very clickbaity, very confusing and wow he's telling me how to sleep like wow groundbreaking stuff but I've done that on purpose I mean I have to play the YouTube game a bit but for me this actually is a very useful topic. Now if you watched my testosterone weird hacks to boost testosterone or whatever I titled the video then you probably know that lying on your back is going to boost your testosterone as opposed to line any other way and that's cool if you want to watch the video go ahead but just know lying on your back with your legs apart that's going to boost your testosterone good stuff beyond that though there's a lot of evidence that shows sleeping on your side is not great for you not good for your breathing i'll dive into that in a bit another thing that i think is a bit superficial but if you care about the more superficial stuff then this would be useful to you Lie on your sides, it either one of them apparently does cause asymmetries in your face. Frankly, I've never seen anyone with asymmetries in their face, or maybe I haven't looked that closely, or whatever the case is, but I haven't seen it. Maybe you have. This could explain why. Right. Take this point how you are. Then lie on your belly. Now, I used to lie on my belly for the longest time, probably. 19 or 20 years that's that's how I slept how I prefer to sleep for that matter For me, that's simply the most comfortable way or for me to sleep But the problem with that is it apparently screws up your breathing now you wouldn't be aware of this because you're asleep, but You often end up breathing through your mouth Same happens when you're sleeping on your side not as much when it does happen and Breathing through your mouth is not as good as breathing through your nose I can go into the deep detailed understanding and discussion about it, but the summarized version is this. You have hairs in your nose. Those hairs in your nose, photos you need dust and pollution and so on that's in there. Your mouth doesn't have those hairs though. So you could argue breathing in dirtier air when you're breathing through your mouth. You can understand why that's not going to be the best for you. So. It's better for you to just sleep on your back. It will take an adjustment. Like for me, when I first started sleeping on my back, it took me some time to actually fall asleep at night for the first probably a week, even two weeks. It, it did take some adjustment period, but now it, it's the way I sleep. I haven't tried sleeping on my stomach again, but I would imagine if I did try now, that would feel a bit weird to me. So yeah, bro, sleep on your back. Uh, this is not the kind of video I expected to be making, but I was going through the list of stuff that I think has made a difference to my life one way or another and diving deep into the details like in this video where I said, hey, sleeping on my back might have made a difference. So let me offload the knowledge. It's not something hard to do, obviously, so you lose nothing. I'm not selling anything to you. Try it out. I'll see you in the next one, bro.